So have you been thinking or worrying about what to do now Windows 10 is heading towards end of life? Well, in this video, we're gonna be going through what your options are, whether you wish to stick with Windows, upgrade your PC, or just upgrade your Windows operating system. Now stay tuned to the end because I'm gonna be showing you how to go ahead and check your PC to see whether it can take the latest version of Windows 11. Let's jump on a PC and get started. So some people have been asking us, why do I need to bother upgrading to Windows 11? And that's a very good question. Why bother upgrading to Windows 11 at all? Well, one of the key reasons is, it, Windows 10 is end of life come October 2025. So what do you do when that comes to end of life? And what does it mean for Windows 10? Well, it means that you won't get any security updates or patches. So that means anybody who's developing software or tools, hardware, printers, you name it, they will no longer be developing for that platform. They will be developing for Windows 11 and future versions of Windows. So if you don't keep yourself updated, you will literally be leaving yourself back in the in the in the day now every iteration of windows update has been they've done exactly the same thing they've updated and people have held back to see what happens well windows 11 has proven itself i believe in what to do going forward it's important to note that it doesn't matter if you're just an end user or a seasoned it professional upgrading to windows 11 is really important it keeps you up to date it keeps you current and it keeps your information and data secure now we understand there's a little change in the user interface but it really isn't that critical remember if you like this kind of content please go ahead and subscribe and put your comments down below so let's move on to what your options are so for many the simplest path is upgrading directly from windows 10 to windows 11. microsoft have made this very easy and we'll show you at the end of this video how you can go ahead and check to make sure your windows is upgradable to windows 11. one of the other options is you can do absolutely nothing and stay with Windows 10. Now, if you do that, what Microsoft have said is, if you want to stay with Windows 10, that's perfectly fine. However, if you want support, you're gonna to have to pay for it. And that cost is really, really steep. And when I say really, really steep, it really outweighs the cost of upgrading your machine versus just paying for support, which at the end of the day, is not gonna get you anywhere because the manufacturers will still continue to develop new software and hardware for Windows 11 and future versions and they will stop developing for Windows 10. So you may get a bit of support in keeping your machine safe and secure but you will be paying for it for absolutely no reason. Your other option would be to completely leave Windows and go to a different operating system. Now your options will be something like Mac or Linux. Mac is a completely different platform altogether, it's obviously run by Apple and there will be a steep learning curve in doing so. Now, there is an argument here that people will say, well, hold on a minute, if I switch to Apple, aren't they a little bit more stable, a little bit more secure? I personally don't believe that to be 100% true, but I must admit, Apple do have a very nice interface, but the learning curve is really, really steep. The other option will be to move to Linux. Now, Linux and the, all the different distributions of versions of Linux is completely free. Now, you can download and install Linux onto pretty much any device because they're not hardware intense and therefore you can run it on something a bit more low end if your machine's a little bit out of date and you just don't want to pay any more money to go up to a new version of Windows or indeed go over to Apple. Now, if you're interested in Linux and whether or not Linux will be a good option for you, why don't you let us know in the comments below and we'll make a video on how you can take pretty much any old machine and install Linux on it. Your other option would be quite simply to buy a brand new PC that has Windows 11 already pre-installed. Now this would be probably the better option if your machine cannot upgrade to Windows for two or more faults. Now we'll cover that at the end of this video. Now that's probably your better option, especially if your machine can't handle the latest security features on Windows 11. Now buying a machine isn't as bad as you think. You already have a screen, maybe even a keyboard and a mouse. You just need the new machine. Now that could be done quite cost effectively, especially if you come across to buying one of our Apollo brand PCs. Doesn't matter which option you use, always make sure that you're informed to make the best decision. If you do choose to leave Microsoft and move over to a different platform, will your files be compatible? Will you be able to open those documents that you've created over the years? Would you be able to get on with it? Will you just find it so painful that it just isn't worth doing it at all? And then you end up going back to Windows anyway. If you want to stick with Windows, just remember, you've got to think about 
what your wants and needs are. And we've covered that in a previous video about looking at your wants and needs when buying a new PC. We'll put a link up here and in the description below for that video. And finally, if you choose to do nothing, just think about what risks you might be putting yourself into with not having up-to-date and secure software. Now, as promised, I'm gonna show you how you can go ahead and check to see if your machine is compatible with the latest version of Windows. Let's jump on a PC and take a look. So the first thing we're gonna do is come over to this Windows icon and we're gonna right click on that and choose system. And what this is gonna do is just gonna bring up the uh, system information on this PC and tell us a little bit more about what its specification is. And you can see that it's running an AMD processor, 2.2 gigahertz, it's got eight gig of RAM, it's a 64 bit uh, system, which is all looking good so far. Then it says here Windows 10 Home and it's version 22H2. The next thing we want to do is we want to click on Home and come over to where it says the updates and security. And once we get to that, we can click on check hardware requirements. And what this will now do is this will take us over to the Microsoft website, which as you can see there, it says Windows 10 will no longer receive support or free software updates starting the 14th of October, 2025. And if we scroll down a little bit further, you can see what the system requirements are. It says it needs a one gigahertz processor or faster. You need four gig of RAM. You need 64 gig of storage. You need a system that runs the UEFI, secure boot system. And you need this TPM or trusted platform module version two. It talks about graphics cards and other little bits and pieces, but the most important part we believe is this bit up here where it talks about the TPM module and the processor. Now, Windows 11 will only work with compatible processors. So you can go ahead and you can look at this list of compatible processors and take that information that we had before and you can go through the list and check to see whether or not your processor is listed. Now, if you can't be bothered to do that because it sounds like a lot of work, there is a nice little tool that will do this for us. So if we go back to where it says this PC Health Check app and we give that a click and download the PC Health app. This will download the application to our PC and once it's downloaded, go ahead and click it. Now, after accepting the terms and installing it, go ahead and run this application. Now, this is a neat little tool that Microsoft have developed that gives you a little bit of a summary of your PC as before. So as you can see there, it's, it's telling us that it's got eight gig of RAM, 240 uh, gigabytes of SSD, and it's approximately nine years old. So it's giving you some really useful information. Now, if we go ahead and click the check now, you will see that it's come up and it says the processor isn't currently supported by Windows 11. And if we just do a little bit of expansion on see all the results, you can see that this processor does not meet the requirements for Windows 11. The AMD A8 7410 is not on that list. But if we look down carefully, you can see that everything else is ticked. So the only thing that's holding this machine back is the processor. It has the TPM module, it has enough RAM, it has 64 gig of storage. So it's got all the other stuff, it's just the CPU that lets us down. Now, as this is a laptop, it's very unlikely that I'm gonna be able to upgrade that CPU to a CPU that is compatible with Windows 11. What we normally recommend to a customer at this point would be say, well, look, it's got all the attributes to run Windows 11 other than the CPU. You're not gonna be able to replace that our advice would be just to replace the laptop with something that can run Windows 11. So that's how you can go ahead and check to see whether or not your machine is compatible with Windows 11. So hopefully you found that information really useful. If so, please give us a like and subscribe. And don't forget, if you've got any stories of your own about upgrading from Windows 10 to Windows 11, please put them in the comments down below. So my name's Rob from RLS Computer Services. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.